I'm really excited because I, I'm on the chair position for Relay for Life this year and I've been working with these amazing 24 people this whole entire year to plan this like one day event. A lot of them have fa had family members that have passed away or have cancer now, every single one of them. It's just amazing to see how they're doing dedication to this event and I'm, I'm more excited for everyone to be together at the event and to see how like We've worked so hard to raise all this money. Relay for Life is American Cancer Society's largest fundraiser, and they've raised like billions of dollars from it. All that money is going towards a cure, and even if they donate $10 to get into Relay for Life, they're helping to find a cure. I was diagnosed with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma my freshman and sophomore year of high school, and it was really hard for me because I didn't want to tell anyone about what I was going through. I had non-Hodgkin's lymphoma as well uh, between my freshman and sophomore year of college. Um, sort of the same situation that I could tell people what was going on, but it was really hard for people who haven't gone through it to really understand. Um, so thankfully, after I went through remission and I was back at the middle of my sophomore year, I met Lauren because she had reached out to me as part of the Survivor Relay crew. I was on the Survivor Committee for Relay for Life, and someone on the committee was like, oh, I know someone that had non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. You know, you should contact him to tell him to sign up for Relay. So I did, and I found him, and I was like, hey, you know, I heard that you were a cancer survivor. Actually, I had non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, and that's cool how we had the same cancer, but you, know, you should sign up for Relay for Life and walk in the Survivor Lab to be honored. And he was like, yeah, sure, like, I'll do that. I actually can't come to Relay for Life, but I'll, like, sign up and still raise money. And we just started talking, like, what did you ask me? Like funny questions like, what are your favorite movies? And it was just like random and I was like, okay. And then he just stopped talking and I was like, oh my gosh, like he doesn't want to talk to me. And it was like four days or something ridiculous. How many, how much was it? So I was busy. I had just became president of my fraternity and so I didn't unfortunately just have time to keep the conversation going. And eventually we had time to hang out and it was just an instant connection and so we started dating. It sounds really corny, but it was like love at first sight. So I planned the Survivor Banquet before Relay for Life. And so the survivors come and they get like dinner provided and we have music and raffles for free. And it's cool to see how like I'm making such a small difference in their life. And that just means a lot to me because like I know that if I had that in my life when I was going through treatment and even right after treatment that I would just feel so much better. And I'm glad that I could be doing that for someone.